Welcome, my name is MST Havoc from MST Studios and today I have another exciting tutorial for you about importing a camera in 3D Studio Max. And we want, um, after importing the camera and importing the map we used in our demo, uh, also add some textes and compose that with um, our capturing image sequences in After Effects. So let's start with the new, with the newest Half-Life version currently, and that is Half-Life Advanced Effects 2.1.5.13, and click on the execution file, and now we want to start at first our Counter-Strike, and uh, my Steam is already online, or better say started in the background, so we can launch or counter strike and we choose at first the path for our half-life file and that's here my hard disk games and steam steam apps my nickname counter strike and there we find the half-life excel modification i said counter strike so we use c strike custom comment line demo edit of course and we want to use 800, 600, and I think that's okay. Standard vendor mode, and that's all okay, and we, kick, we can click on launch. So, boys and girls, we are now in Counter-Strike, and at first of every capturing, capturing progress, we check if Half-Life Advanced Effect is ready loaded. And if we look in our console, we see... Yeah, blah, 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 Move demo tool, load it, and now we can load our demo. In my case, the demo has the name 3DS text, and click on enter. So we see, now the demo, and let's look at first, you see, it's a normal demo. A guy is walking around dust too. Nothing special. And you see in this case I don't use campus, it's just normal ego view without any models or the um, interface hut. And that's all. Now we want prepare our capturing so we set up our half-life advanced effects settings and we first we start with the comment merv underline movie underline file name and we see it's untitled but I have prepared a folder and the folder is on my hard disk D and is called HLRE Toot and of course we have to use a name for the file the file name and we want capture with the name 3ds text and we click on enter so the next point is we want to use um, or check the FPS frames per second and we use the comment move movie FPS and we see it's 30 and that's enough. I don't want to change this. Another very important comment is we have to um, set up the export option for the cam motion. So we use Murph Movie Export Cam Motion and we have to set this to 1. Move movie export cam motion cam motion one. So also we can bind the current um, capturing and I bind the F1 key on my keyboard with a comment move movie moment move record movie start and bind F2 
with a comment move record movie stop so that's all we have to do for this uh yeah a little tutorial and now I want to start the capturing. Go back and now we can start it. So that's all. Click on F2 to stop the recording. And you see that's all. We are in the end of our, of our demo and yes, that's it. We can click on quit. Yes, quit the game. So we are back on my Windows desktop and you see I'm in the folder Highlightitude. And you see our captured images and of course our biovision file. And in the biovision file you see it's just a normal biovision. You have the hierarchy with the root. We have the motion, the frame, the frame time. You see it's 30 degrees, 30 frames per second. And you have of course all coordinations. <laughs> So, now we want import this cam motion file in 3ds Max. I use 3ds Max 7. First we have to download the HLI cam importer for 3ds Max. Click on download. And now you see you have to unpack to your script path my script path was in 3ds max 7 because i used 3ds max 7 for also for scripting and now i changed to the script folder 3ds max scripts and i have to unpack the script into this folder now we can start 3ds max so, and now we found in our menu bar max script and we can run the script over this button, but we can also use the max script button here. It's just both 